Note that monkeypox is a zoonotic disease, and this means that it can be transmitted from an infected animal to a human. Now, monkeypox originated from animals, as it was found in a group of colonies of monkeys back in 1958 that were being kept for research purposes. So since then, monkeypox have been found mainly in animals. Now, the first human case was back in 1970 in the Democratic Republic of Congo, and this was a case of a nine-year-old boy who was suspected to have smallpox at the time. So monkeypox is endemic in parts of Central Africa and West Africa. So if you're traveling from any of these parts, you're likely to have brought it to countries in Europe and the US. Monkeypox is part of a family of viruses called the orthopoxivirus, which includes a smallpox and a cowpox virus, which is why, I mean, they're thought to be cousins. And this is why the smallpox vaccine is also thought to be effective against monkeypox. I think it's got about 85% effectiveness. Now, most cases of monkeypox in animals have been in rodents and primates, such as rabbits, mice, rats, squirrels, and monkeys, as we've mentioned. So monkeypox is usually transmitted via two ways. You've got the animal to human transmission and you've got the human to human transmission. So if you look at the animal to human transmission, we're looking at direct contact, which can include a scratch or bite from an infected animal, touching or petting the infected animal, as well as contact with bodily fluids, whether it's the urine, feces, saliva, or blood. With indirect contact, that means touching the animal's environment. So it could be the pet cages, it could be the water dishes, the food, even the soil that the animal walks on, as well as eating contaminated or poorly cooked meat. Now, human to human transmission is quite rare. So usually you expect the virus to go through broken skin and that includes the mucous membranes of the eyes, the nose, the mouth. It was thought that majority of monkeypox was contracted by humans through inhalation of the respiratory droplets, whether it's by sneezing, coughing, or even talking while a small proportion was through direct contact with bodily fluids. And that includes prolonged face-to-face -face contact, as well as indirect contact with contaminated clothes and contaminated bedding. So they've advised, look, we're happy to listen to you if you're worried about having the monkeypox and we're happy to do tracing. But if you have the monkeypox virus, they've been advised to isolate for at least 21 days. They've also been told what symptoms to look out for in terms of their fever, headaches, muscle aches, swollen lymph glands, as well as in particular the rash, which can be quite similar to the rash of chickenpox. And they've said also look out for the rash in your genital area. Initially, monkeypox is thought to be common in the face and the hands, and can also spread to other parts of the body. But you've also been told look out for monkeypox virus or the rash in your genital areas. It is a mild virus, nothing to panic about. The mortality rate is only 1% with the West African strain, and I think it's 10% with the Central African strain but majority of illnesses are mild and most people recover within two to four weeks. If you like my video and you want to subscribe to more videos, please subscribe to my channel.